Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Benton Editor. So this is going to be another review uh, because I have been moving through yarn like crazy. So that's why I keep doing reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed them. But this week we are going to be going into Marble Yarn um, from James Brett. At least that's what it says on the label. Like always, I will put all the information in the description down below in case anyone's interested in what I'm reviewing. If there's any other yarn that you want me to review or take a look at, let me know and I will be sure to get some and knit something up for you guys. Uh, now this is 100% acrylic and it has 240 meters and 262 yards. So it's a good clip of yarn on each skein, which is nice. So that way, kind of get it. If you like bigger projects, it's a good yarn to have. So there's little pros and cons with this yarn. Pros, so I did, a, well first, I did a shawl with this yarn. Ooh. Um, so pros is for acrylic yarn, this is really soft. I know with acrylic sometimes we can get something that's a little rough, a little not good, but this is some soft acrylic yarn. Um, so this is good for kind of shawls, scarves, stuff for the face and neck that's really on your, um, I, that can be on more sensitive areas of the body. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about it, now it, um, as you can see it has a nice dark blue base color for it. Um, there are strands of different colors throughout the yarn. Um, now what I didn't like is that they're kind of hard to see. Um, if you're gonna have kind of different yards running throughout, I usually prefer something that's a little bit more, not necessarily brighter, but more pronounced so that way you can see the different colors. If they blend, you can kind of go through each one. Um, it seems like they just decided to do a little bit of each color so you can kind of see it. Um, but a lot of the blue, since it is such a dark blue, kind of takes hold of most of the color um, throughout the pattern. So that way you can't really see it, the other colors throughout it. Um, because there is some red, there is some green, there is some tan or yellow in it. And I would have liked to see those other colors a little bit more throughout the yarn. So if you want something that's like super colorful, this might not be the yarn for you. Um, because it is very subtle. Um, but I do recommend this for like scarves or like hats. Um, because like I said before, it is super soft. Um, so that way, um... It's not going to be rougher on your skin. But also, it, this is DK weight, so that way um, it's not super fine, but it's also not super chunky. It's kind of right in the middle, of where, which is great. So check this out. Again, all the information will be in the description below. If there's any other yarns that you want me to review, let me know and I'll take a look. I'll see you next week. Bye.